as one of the first test pilings was inserted into the ground for the new Gerald Desmond Bridge, a crew from the Discovery Channel was on site to catch the action. This amazing engineering feat, which requires 300 piles to be inserted more than 200 feet into salty marsh ground in an area known for earthquakes, has drawn the curiosity of Strip the City, one of Discovery's top-rated shows produced in England. So Strip the City is a, it's the second season of a series that looks at the geology and engineering projects that go on within cities. The reason that it's called Strip the City is because we strip off layers of the geology and strip away the streets and the buildings to reveal all the rocks, the rock movement and the uh, rivers um, and look at what was there before the city existed. And then what we look at is big engineering projects like this one here today and how the geology affects these projects and how the city grows in the modern world. You know, we talk about this as a project of national significance. It's really even more than that. It has international significance. Uh, this is a huge project uh, for the port, for cargo, uh, and also just uh, for the, the world uh, of engineering is watching this. Uh, designers from throughout the world are keeping an eye on what we're doing right here. On the day of their visit, one of the most important steps in the bridge's construction was underway, the initial construction and testing of the bridge's support pillars. Once the testing phase is over, it will take multiple crews working simultaneously about two years to install the foundation for the bridge. Actually, what's amazing about this, uh, this project is it has so many geological stories. You've got uh, subsidence from, uh, from the old oil wells. You've got to get rid of the old oil wells in the area. Um, but then obviously you've got to design the bridge for the earthquakes. So there's a real clear link between the innovative engineering techniques that are used to protect this bridge and the, the problems deep down in the rock below. Knowing that viewers will be interested in the day-to-day -day construction of the bridge, cameras installed around the bridge are taking photographs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Anyone interested in seeing real-time footage and seeing the progress firsthand can visit the bridge's website at newgdbridge.com. When completed, the bridge will not only be higher to accommodate the ever-increasing size of cargo vessels that pass beneath it, but will also be a stunning addition to the Long Beach skyline while dramatically increasing traffic flow above.